Howdy folks, got another kit for you today, it's from Hobby Boss, 148 scale, it's a USAF FY22, it was the aircraft that was competing against the F22 Raptor, which we know today, but back then when they were both competing, they were competing for contracts to see which was going to be the frontline fighter for the US, uh, USA, uh, so this was the YF22, uh, 23 but what we know as the F-22 was the YF-22 when it was first done. Um, but obviously the F-22 Raptor won the contract, so that's why it's around today. This didn't meet the requirements, um, so it never uh, won the contract and it never went into mass production. Um, and then obviously when the F-22 Raptor that we know today was the y F-22, once it, got, once it got the contract it changed its name to F-22 um, So Let's take a look where we go in the box and get This side of the box, a little bit of the history and um, what I was talking about just now about the uh, contracts um, this side of the box, 43 pound, I didn't pay for that, I only paid about 20 quid for this, I got it real real cheap. Um, there's this side of the box, and this side. The kit is 81722. Okay. The upper and lower hole, which is coming one giant piece. Clear. One sprue of wings. Another sprue of landing gear and wheels and internal bits. Another sprue of exhaust systems. You get your colour call out, decals, and then your instruction sheet. We'll take a look at the instruction sheet quick. Yeah. So you get information about the kit in three different languages. First page is your sprues, sprue map. Um, and then your first first step is working on the ejector seat, interior cockpit, uh, which is like a, like a little bathtub hole. Um, so it's not going to be an awful lot because it's a modern jet, so it's all going to be computerised equipment and touch screens and stuff. So there isn't going to be a lot of dials and stuff. So you're probably better off just doing the trial brushing technique for this. Just working on some landing gear as well. And that goes on the unders underside and I, I gather this lot's going to be dropped in. More landing gear. Uh, left and right side. And sticking that in the, the bottom half of the hole. Sticking the two halves together. Putting door flaps on. Um, and then wings. And it's ready for paint. Here's the colour call out. You only get one design, which is grey and grey camouflage. Um, the colours they're calling out for Mr. Hobby, they're calling dark, composite, ghost grey and grey, and matte black and tire black. Tire black would be for the rubber. Um, but I looked these two up and it's actually... Um, not even though they call it composite grey, Mr. Hobby just call it ghost grey and grey. So, you get some markings, a couple of squadrons. Um, not sure how accurate these would be because obviously the aircraft's not around.
my understanding they, they did build one but obviously it didn't meet requirements because you have to build one to test it so there's the markings and no step which should be probably all over the top of the aircraft you do get a, a little bit of instrument panel which is that touch screen stuff I was on about so I'm just going to do this straight out of the box when it comes to building it so we're going to take a look at the uh, upper section and lower section of the, of the two holes gives you a rough idea how big the aircraft is going to be as well in 148 a large large plane usual for 148 You get all panel lines. Obviously, there's going to be no rivets because it's composite material designed for um, stealth. You've got these fine injector pins you just have to take care of, which is very easy to do. You've got your composite uh, exhaust system, which looks like brickwork, but it's not. Injector pins on the inside, but you're not going to see any of that. Um, so yeah, it's nice, nicely done. There's no RAM tape, so I don't think this aircraft has it, like the uh, F-35. Again, here's the underside. Nice panels. The, uh, I'll go over this section would be the bomb bay, but obviously they haven't given you the Bombay in this. There's the um, serial number. I'm not sure when this kit comes out. It's been around for a little while, I think. Um, this should go together pretty good, I should imagine. We have this section. There's the cockpit area uh, inside the wheel wells. Um, there's your instrument panel, this is where the decal will be going, some more wheel wells, these pieces are for the exhaust system, the bottom of the uh, cockpit which is the wheel well as well, I just imagine it, the, interior, the inside is white, um, most of the aircraft these days, uh, the modern ones, is white, looks like more internal detail, nice, nicely done. So I'll do it white if it is white and then a bit of a black wash to uh, make it a little bit grimy inside. But not, there wouldn't be massive amounts of weathering on this because obviously the aircraft doesn't exist and plus even if it did it would still be a new, new, new plane so it would be quite clean. Uh, there's your wheels, unfortunately they're two piece wheels. Um, so you have to take care of the seat and send the seam. But it's not a problem. Landing gear. Some fine detail parts. Um, not sure what these are. Probably doors, um, hatches and so are these. Um, more landing gear while it looks at things. Some piston section for um, or hydraulic um Pumps bit section probably for the landing gear. I say I really don't know because I really don't know about this aircraft. And you get the giant triangle wings. Here's your giant, giant triangle wings. Again, you've got all your panel lines, but obviously no rivets because 
is a composite material so it's got to be uh, kept as smooth as possible for stealth um, locating pins a couple of ejector pins you might want to take care of just to make it a little bit flat just so the wings sit dead, dead flush other than that it should go together pretty well and in here protected by the foam is your canopy canopy is very very basic easy to mask off a little bit of a scuff there no centre seam line which is it which I do like the um curvature is pretty good the clarity is pretty good this back bit section is a little bit wavy because of the way it goes where the way it curves but it's still pretty pretty good So there you go guys, there's another kit from Hobby Boss, United States Air Force, YF-23, 148 scale, modern jet fighter, which was competing against the F-22, but unfortunately it didn't win the contract. Laters, like, comment, subscribe, and catch you next time.